And we're back with part two, letting you know each and every person that Bonnie Willis and them has indicted in that RICO case down there in Georgia. Now, just again, an honorary mention Donald Trump because he is the head of the criminal conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election. Allegedly. Now, here we have Mr. Ray Stalling Smith III. Side note, I love a the third. It's just so regal to have all those names passed down. But you get no regal accolades from me. This is about your criminality. Allegedly. Now, Mr. Big Boss Ray here is an Atlanta-based attorney and Trump's attorney of record down there in Atlanta. Now, he was wrapped up in the fake elector plot as well, sending letters to the Secretary of State then, Brad Raffensperger, and submitting affidavits supporting Trump as the winner. Now, y'all remember Brad Raffensperger is so important because that is the actual phone call that we got from Trump when he was looking for the 11,000 votes. Well, this man right here was sending letters to him all up in the plot, basically lying and such. But you know, you can't, you can't be sending fake documents. Again, allegedly. Now, this is Robert David Cheeley. And you know, we didn't know too much about him, baby. I had to do a good old Google search, see who he was, what you was doing. Now, he was the person presenting false video attempting to show that election workers were counting and triple counting votes and trying to use that as evidence that something was off with the election, allegedly. Now, this here is Michael A. Roman. I'm trying to figure out what he was doing down there in Atlanta in Georgia anyway. Now, he's a Philadelphia campaign operative, but somehow found his way to Georgia. And allegedly, he was a part of the elector scheme in battleground states. Because remember, even if they were able to get the governor and Brad Raffensperger in Georgia to flip the votes in Georgia to somehow make Trump the winner of Georgia, it wouldn't have been enough. Excuse me here. It wouldn't have been enough electoral college votes for him to still win the presidency. So apparently this man was not only a part of the stuff that was going on in Georgia, but was also trying to do the fake elector things in other states as well. Which Bonnie Willis and them called out in the indictment that, you know, this was a multi-state organization or, or multi-state crime. But she going after the people because they did it in Georgia. Now, David ought to know better. This is David James Schaefer, who was the former chair of the Georgia GOP, the former chair of the Georgia GOP, okay? And baby, he's being charged with organizing them fake electors, forgery, and impersonating a public officer in the plot to overturn the election in Georgia. And we went from a former official to a current official. This is Sean Steele, and this man is literally a sitting Georgia state senator, meaning he's in power right now in the state of Georgia. And along with the RICO, he's being charged with forgery and impersonating an officer as well. Now, Stephen, Stephen Clifford Lee, the Reverend, is a pastor at a Lutheran church in Missouri. I'm trying to figure out why is all y'all in Georgia, all these other people from these other states, why are y'all in Georgia? And he's alleged to have been trying to influence a witness to give false statements, i.e. our good senior sister, Miss Ruby Freeman and her daughter. Y'all know Ruby Freeman and her daughter are the election workers in Georgia that have been singled out by Donald Trump and have been just castigated by his sycophants. We're going to talk about some other people a little later that was on our, on our good sus, our good auntie Ruby a little later. We ain't got to that yet. But he was trying to influence her to, you know, make false statements as well. Well, I guess we got there quicker than I thought. This man right here, this is Harrison William Prescott Floyd, who is the director for Black Voices for Trump. Child, it ain't my voice. And who was trying to coordinate an immunity deal with Ruby Freeman to basically take the fall for something that she never did. For her daughters to take the, excuse me, daughter, to take the fall for something that they never did. It just really grinds my gears to see one black man from this black man try to push our elder into such shenanigans. More than shenanigans. To push her into confessing to something that it was not true. That could ruin her life more than it already has been ruined. But we already have had to fight back from cops and prosecutors doing that to our people. That grinds my gears. And it grinds my gears to see a black woman do this to another black woman as well. This right here is Trevane Cootie. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly or not, but today is going to be Trevane Cootie. Check the spelling. Now, she's been R. Kelly's publicist and Kanye West publicist. And she is on video at the police station. She had convinced Ruby Freeman to go to the police station and try to push Ruby Freeman into confessing to something that she did not do. That is election fraud. Allegedly. It really just grinds me because it's hard enough as it is. But then to have your own do something so sick and sadistic like this and to an elder, to an elder. Child, let me move on. This right here is Sidney Powell. 
Sydney is one of the reasons allegedly that Fox News got into that whole billion dollar Dominion lawsuit because she was over there spewing lies. They were spewing lies. Everybody was lying. But Sydney had not only concocted uh, the idea, I guess, to go on down there to uh, one of the counties to get election equipment. You know, she was just pushing that the elections were also, you know, the, the, the balance was being changed and we need to get the we need to get these machines so that they can further use this as evidence that something had happened down in Coffee County. Now, it's crazy because Coffee County Trump won, like, I think over 70 percent of the county, but they were using it because they had people in the election office, which we'll talk about them in a minute, who were friendly to them and handed over these election machines for them and their plot allegedly and this here is caffeine latham who was the former president of the rural republican party in coffee county where they got them elections uh machines from that sydney powell who i just showed y'all uh collected this is her she is also a fake elector rico now scott better be lucky i couldn't find a better picture of him but this is scott graham hall who is a bail bondsman Child, they're going to need a bail bondsman after all this. Who's charged with election fraud along with the RICO, computer theft. He was a part of the Sidney Powell scheme, allegedly going down there, getting them election machine in Coffee County. So they didn't got him too. And Nana Misty better be lucky I can't find a better picture of her either. Now, this is Misty Hampton. She was the Coffee County former election supervisor who basically let them in to get the equipment, allegedly. He's charged with the RICO, the computer theft, trying to defraud the state and all that as well. And there you have it, folks, a list of all 19 people that is charged in the RICO uh, uh, criminal conspiracy down there in Georgia. Now, the legal analysts suspect that a lot of them are going to plead down and like, no, man, Pam, I'm not about to go to jail for this. I'm going to go ahead or at least I'm not going to go to jail, jail for this. And they're going to plead guilty and dip out. Now, Fonnie Willis has given everybody until the 25th day of August. That is next Friday to voluntarily turn themselves in or they will be getting the Chanel bracelets on their arms very soon. Baby, phone is not playing, okay?